Microsoft has just released a new feature in Excel, allowing us to easily edit as well as mark up our sheets using a stylus. Hi, my name is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. Here we are in Excel and at Amy's Animal Shop, we are analyzing our sales data. Let's head on up to this draw tab. If you are missing this tab, then stick around to the end and I will show you how to enable it. And the first tool that we are going to look at today is this active pen tool. And when we select this, we'll see that the sheet automatically zooms so that we can focus on our content. Let's go ahead and start to add some data to our table. And we will see here that a new column has automatically been added. This is such a great way for you to use your stylus to mark up your data or to even add content. Another great feature is that we can even add formulas. So if we want to go equals one plus two, then we will see here that that is going to populate till three. And if we use this select tool, then we can select that cell and see that that formula is still in place. Now let's take a look at how we can use gestures to speed up our drawing. So if we draw a line across the contents of a cell, then we will see that delete. I'm just going to control Z to bring this back, or you can even use the scribble method and that will also delete the contents of that cell. Alternatively, if we draw a line across multiple cells, then we are going to see that delete all of the contents as well. Additionally, if we want to, for example, update this cell to five, then we can just write over top of the cell and that will automatically update to $5. The last gesture that I want to show you is how we can select all of these cells by drawing a circle around them. And then this little formatting tool is automatically going to pop up and we can easily adjust the font, for example, or any other formatting options that we have available. Moving along on the draw tab, we have this highlighter tool. And if we select this little drop down carrot, then we will see here that we have a handful of different colors as well as thicknesses. So if we go ahead and highlight some of our contents, if you just want to mark up your document, then this might be enough for you. However, if you want to apply formatting to your cells, then you're going to want to turn on this snap to cells feature. And we'll see here that when we now highlight these cells, that it is actually going to be applying a highlight formatting to those cells. And if you want to undo this, then we simply just backstroke and that will undo that formatting. Now for these ones, that backstroke isn't going to work. Instead, you're going to have to select this little eraser icon and we can just delete the formatting that way. The last tool that I want to show you are these two drawing pens here. And so these two are identical and they just provide a nice and easy way for you to have your favorite colors at your fingertips. So let's go ahead and mark up our document. So if we want to, for example, draw an X over Vancouver, then we can easily mark up our content that way. Or if we want to draw a shape, then we can draw a circle over England. Then pay attention, use the lasso tool to select the content and then head to this ink to shape. From here, we can then use the select tool to select our shape and we can adjust the, sh the size of it as well as the shape of it appropriately or even go up to this shape formatting tool. We can then update the colors as well. And for this markup, if we want to delete that, then we can just go ahead and use that eraser tool like we saw earlier. And for those shapes, we just need to use the select tool. We can select our shape and simply press delete. We are wrapping up our video here. And if you don't have this draw tab on your ribbon, then head over to file, go down to options. And from here, we can go to this customize ribbon. You'll see here on the right hand side, that I have this draw tool selected. If yours is not visible, then it's going to be deselected and you're just going to need to select it and then click OK. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. 
And if you have made it this far, then please consider giving this video a thumbs up and why not hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified on all of my newest uploads. All right, thanks again for watching. We will see you in the next video.